Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the 8th of August 2020, the perfect day for you to join the 88 group of holiness and stand in support of the Kingdom of Heaven. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today we will talk about God will take his children, the escape of the innocent and the rapture of the church. What is the difference? Brothers and sisters, a very special topic for you. I know you like when we talk about the escape of the children. And if you have seen our live stream with the study document, the timetable that is there now for the months of August and September, then you will see that the escape of the innocent, the removal of the children, will be at hand. And most likely it could be symbolized by the ascension of Elijah on the 17th. This is a great day that you should mark. I have made many, many videos about this and I will stand in the face with it and I stand with the kingdom of heaven with it. I know that the Lord will remove his children. The children under the age of accountability will not suffer here on earth. And we can see already that we are now in a phase where more and more desolation, chaos and war will come. We are going to see very soon, until the end of the year, the second seal be broken and the Red Rider, the War Rider, will come forth. So the time is at hand that the innocent, the children of the age of accountability, whatever the age of accountability is, will be taken from the earth. And the Lord has already told me in many visions that the angels are standing already, standing ready to take the children. They are deployed to the four corners of the earth and they are just waiting for the commandment to take them out. And who is better to give that command than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who will come at this time now to walk with us in a physical manifestation of 40 days here on earth. And he will initiate not only the dead in Christ rising, but also the escape of the innocent. He loved the children so much as you have seen in the scripture, and he will make sure that none of his children will be harmed. Now, brothers and sisters, the age of accountability is five years, or it is seven years, or it is six years, or it is 13 years. It does not make any difference. God, in his perfect ways, will take the children that cannot defend themselves out of this world before his hammer will fall. Now, brothers and sisters, if we are talking about the escape of the innocent, will then no other people except children be taken? No. There will be a few who are accounted worthy to escape, a few who have made themselves so perfect and ready in a spotlight garment that they will also be taken. And of course, the dead in Christ for such a time as this, they will rise and they will go. As we see in the scripture, the dead in Christ will rise first and the ones who are then alive will follow. This is the same timing now. Look at our study document. Look at our timeline. See what will happen. Jesus entering with the keys, Sheol, on the 11th, on the 13th, that in Christ will rise. And then we see the picture of Elijah in the ascension on the 17th. A great timing, brothers and sisters. The dead in Christ will rise first, then the escape of the innocent will take place. And you and we who are remaining will be the rock in the storm when the people and the world are start to mourn for their children and they will find a lot of excuses to explain what happened but nobody will trust the father nobody will trust the son and nobody will trust the holy spirit on the contrary when you come forth they will persecute you when you come forth and say we know what happened to the children you will be thrown into prison and you will be hated by the whole world but you will stand with the kingdom of heaven and you will be strong. You will have the understanding what happened to the beautiful children and that they are in a perfect hand now and that they are now in paradise with the Father, that they are now in the third heaven with him together. Brothers and sisters, 
This is the escape of the innocent. I have prayed over this many, many hours, and I've said, Lord, the time must be here to take your children, because they should not suffer. There's nothing what they can do. They cannot protect themselves, and they cannot prevent it. Take them out in your glory, and your power, your might, and your mercy, your compassion, and your love, and God will do that. You will see it, mark my words, that innocent children will be removed from this earth and the world will stand in perplexity. Now, brothers and sisters, now if we see that a few of the believers, part of the bride will also go, and the innocent children will go, and not all, but a few dead in Christ will also go, a few of the saints of all that will be risen from the graves will also go together, then what is then the difference to the rapture of the church? Many people believe that the rapture of the church is everybody together, even the children and all together. That will not happen. We have three raptures. And if you say this escape of the innocent could be then the first rapture, also it will not be a rapture. It will be an escape of the innocent. The rapture of the church, as we teach and preach here in the ministry of Triple Grace, will take place at the sixth seal, when Mount Zion, the mountain not carved by human hands, will come down onto the earth, and everybody will see it as it is written in Revelation 6, where you see that the people are hiding because they see the one coming or sitting on the throne and the lamp. They see it with their eyes, and they are so much afraid. They see something great is coming down, Mount Zion is coming down, as it was in the days of Moses, as it was on Mount Sinai. Now Mount Zion will come down with his power and the glory for this special time to seal the 144,000 and to take the multitude closed and white, the people who have prepared themselves and have cleaned their garments in the blood of the Lamb through the sealed tribulation, and the ones who were murderers under the altar of, of uh, seal number five, will then, will then be taken into the rapture, into paradise. They will not go to the third heaven as the children will go, or as the, the, the few worthy ones will go, but they will go into paradise. And paradise will be on this Mount Zion. And then they will be with all eternity together with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And some of them will return with our Lord and Savior at the time when he will come down, feet down on the Mount of Olives for his Millennium Kingdom. You can all see this and follow it up from the messages to the churches until the sixth seal, and you see that all what I'm speaking here is the truth. Read. Read the sixth seal. See what is written there. Why are the people hiding? They are not hiding because there's something, an imagination of, an, of Mount Zion in, in heaven. No. They see something great coming down, and it makes them afraid. And when you then also go into Second Esther 13 and you see what is going on there, that there Mount Zion is also be present and that the people will come forth and make war with the Lord, Ezekiel 38 war, and God will destroy them, then you see that everything will come together and there the rapture will take place. Then many voices will say, oh, but then we are going through tribulation. Nobody is saying that you will not go through tribulation. You will not be part of the wrath of the Lamb or the wrath of God. And what do you read at the sixth seal? You see, they are afraid and hiding in the caves of this world because the Lamb and his wrath is coming. So that is all pre-wrath. And if it's pre-wrath, then the rapture of the church will take the people out so that they are not part of the wrath of the Lamb, which are the trumpet period. The trumpets of God will sound and the wrath of the Lamb will come down and then at the end for the people who are still standing with the beast, with Satan, with his worldly kingdom will then receive the wrath of God which are the bowls. Brothers and sisters, we will be raptured out pre-wrath 
and the innocent children will go now because they have no way to defend themselves during the sealed tribulation. But we have a choice, but the children don't have. Therefore they will go, and a few worthy ones. And a few saints of the dead in Christ's Lord will rise and will go. This is the timing, brothers and sisters. God will take his children, the first time his true children of the age of accountability, and then at the sixth seal, the children of the church, the children of the faith, his children that he has prepared, the children that have faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that are saved, they will go, they have prepared themselves, they have cleaned their garments, they have fulfilled their destiny and purpose, they have brought in the harvest of the ages and now they are standing at the base of Mount Zion and no matter how frightful the coming of Mount Zion will be, we will be standing there because we will look up and we will see our redemption drawing nigh and we will celebrate and sing praises to God and to the Lamb and we will be raptured and taken into paradise at this time and we will be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and with the Father for all eternity. Praise the Lord, be blessed Jesus. Praise the Lord, be blessed Bless us, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the Holy Spirit. Let us believe and get the understanding that we are not part of the rest of the Lamb and we will be taken out. And then, brothers and sisters, there will be another rapture taking place before Jesus will come to destroy Satan. Before he will take revenge before he will step on his head before everything will be fulfilled because the 144,000 the sealed one at Mount Zion will have a destiny to fulfill and they will go out into the nations and they will bring another harvest no matter small it will be at this time because Satan will control the earth at this time but they will bring a harvest, and this harvest also needs to be ruptured, and it will. So we have three ruptures. First, the escape of the innocent. Then we have the wheat harvest of the church, the rupture of the church into paradise. And then we have the, the oil and the wine harvest at the end during the ministry of the 144,000. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord that he will take now and remove the innocent children who cannot fight for themselves. Look at that picture. Look at that ice. Just have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the children and take them out. And also the worthy ones who have suffered for you so much, go, let them go with them together and raise the dead in Christ who are also worthy to escape everything and even escape Sheol and Hades. In your holy name we pray. Brothers and sisters, let us join together into a prayer for the children, for the dead in Christ and for the accounted worthy ones. Let us not be jealous if we will have to go until Mount Zion, but let us Rejoice because we have a destiny to fulfill. Let us rejoice because we are the chosen vessels for such a time as this. And let us rejoice because we are the harvest workers of the Lord. We are the royal priesthood and the holy nation and we will fulfill our destiny and our crowns are waiting for us in paradise. Brothers and sisters, I pray in Jesus' name that the innocent children the dead in Christ and the accounted worthy one will be taken now in this month. And I pray in the name of the Father that they will be taken to the third heaven and that they will have everlasting joy. And I pray in the name of the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit will come down to us and guide us in our destiny to bring in the harvest of the ages and that he will guide us through the new blessings and to the new wilderness guiding us towards Mount Zion where we will be raptured into paradise when we have cleaned our garment in the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for all, Father. Thank you for all, Jesus. And thank you for everything, Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a fantastic day. 
and do not worry the children will be removed from this earth all the children under the age of accountabilities so that their smile and their beautiful faces will continue for all eternity and the parents will be joined with them together when the day will come be blessed have a great day and join us in the other videos spread that video get the understanding out where we are standing what will happen and where we have to go and what we have to do I love you all so dearly, but God loves you and the children much, much more. Amen and Amen. Maranah.